So there are three South Villages on campus. This is South Village 1. This is the oldest of the three. And then there are also South Village 2. And then South Village 3 is located in that corner. And so in terms of like expense, like how expensive all the living facilities here on campus, it goes Garby and it goes South Village 1 and then South Village 2 and 3, the exact same price. The main difference between South Village 1 and Garby is that Garby doesn't have like, um, it's not a, or Garby is a communal bath, South Village 1 isn't a communal bath, so it's like a suite style, so you have like two people and then you share a common room and then you share like a bathroom too. So you have like four people technically because you have two people, two people here. And then the big difference between South Village 1 and then South Village 2 and 3 is that South Village 2 and 3 have kitchens in their room compared to South Village 1 where they don't have a kitchen in their room. So this is South Village 2 and that's South Village 3 over there. So the main difference between South Village 2 and 3 is that South Village 2 is a little bit more of a rustic vibe compared to South Village 3 which is more of a modern vibe. So as we touched before, Garby uses keys to get into your rooms and South Villages uses the IDs. So your student ID is also what you use when you're swiping for meals or getting packages from the mailroom, but each facility is locked with the key, so you use your key card to get into the building as well as your suite and then your individual room. Yeah, so it's really like, it's, yeah, it's safe. So it's not like everyone has access to the South Villages. It's only if you live here. Same thing with your rooms as well. So this is the lobby of South Village 2. And as we touched on earlier, it has a rustic vibe to it. There is a kitchen on this level, as well as all the other levels, and an office with some computers. Mm -hmm. And there are elevators in all of the South Villages. And it does have a TV over there and it has cable, so sometimes they'll have like NFL watching parties or anything like that, so yeah. Fun hangout spot for residents. So here's an example of the kitchen space located on each level. There's kind of a dining room here and different chairs. Again, more spaces to hang out with other residents. So the laundry room is located here. Again, it's free. There are three units of each on every floor. Also, something really nice about the South Village is every single second floor, the South Village do have a computer lab, and you can also print here, so you don't have to go all the way to the library to print something. You can do it right here. And now we'll show you the showroom. So this is a six-person suite. Majority of the South Villages are four-person suites, but this is an example of a six-person suite. So this is like the main common area. All of these like colored couches do come with the room so you don't have to bring your own furniture or anything like that. You can, so like this resident brought their own futon but you don't have to. Um, and then this brown thing right here comes with it too, a nice little TV stand for you to bring your TV. Also, there is a fridge. So this is like the kitchenette that we were talking about that is in the South Villages. It comes with a fridge and it comes with all these cabinets and all that and it comes with a sink so you can do your dishes here. And so this is an example of a single room in the South Villages. So again, it's nice that there are different options if you maybe want to have other suite mates but you don't want a direct roommate, there is that option. And then there are also double rooms which we'll show you next. So the drawers underneath the beds do come with the room so you don't have to bring your own like storage or anything like that. Also a big difference between like Garvey and the South Villages is Garvey just has like a cabinet that you open for your closet. South Villages have a walk-in closet, so this is what the walk-in closets look like. So it's a really great space, it's really mm -hmm. big too. And yeah. then um, all of the South Villages do come with desks like this, so you don't have to bring your own desk or anything like that. Yep. The chairs come with it as well. Yep. And then as it pertains to TVs, you can rent or buy one through the resident hall, but you are more than welcome to bring your own. And then for each suite, there's a bathroom that connects with it. So for this one, being it's a six person suite, the bathroom is the largest. There are two showers, two toilets, and three sinks. And there's also a built-in shelving unit in there as well. It's nice, you only have to share with your immediate roommates, but you do have to bring toilet paper and you be responsible for cleaning it. And so the size of the bathroom will depend on the size of the room. So the typical four-person suite has a little bit smaller of a bathroom, but still very nice. 
and just four. a good feature for the suites. And for a four-person suite, you will have to bring your own shelving unit, though a shelving unit is only for the six-person suite.